What's up everybody? It's Neil here with iOS Softmodder and in today's video I'm going to be showing you a great free alternative to the popular iFile. Now I have iFile and I really like it because it's, it's extremely convenient and uh, you know it's five bucks but at first I didn't want to pay it so I'm going to show you a quick alternative though it will I'm sorry, all the uh, functions that you're going to perform will have to be on a computer. And there is a Windows version and a Mac version for this program, which is called iFunbox. And it's uh, straightforward, it lets you navigate through your device's files and systems. But um, in order to actually gain access to deeper files and folders, you will need to download and install one tweak onto your jailbroken iOS 7 device. And the tweak is called AFC2 Add. And it's free, and what it basically does is let us just browse even deeper into our system's files and, and whatnot. So, jailbroken device, you need iFunbox downloaded, and you need to install this tweak, AFC to Add. After that, just plug in your device, and then let's take it to the Mac. All right. Before anything, make sure you have your proper dev file, which is the format that your tweak will most likely be in. Um, I have mine, it's called Cylinder. Uh, it's a tweak that's not available through the Cydia repo just yet. So I wanna get it on there now, cause I don't wanna wait. So make sure you have that. I have it on my uh, on my desktop cause it's probably the easiest place to find it. With with my, uh, my iPhone plugged in, I'm just gonna open iFunbox. And now here we go, here's where you navigate. You're gonna go to raw file system. Now most of these folders and files are not available unless you uh, put that tweak that we mentioned previously, the uh, AFC to add. And we need those because we need to navigate to the uh, var, VAR folder. Then once in there, you're gonna go to root. Once in here, media. Now it shows your navigation right here. And if you need to go back for any reason, you just hit go up a level. So once in media, it's usually empty. This is where you are gonna create a new folder. You're just gonna hit new folder. I already did it, but you're gonna label it Cydia. Then you're gonna go inside of Cydia and create a new folder by hitting the new folder addition sign. And you're gonna label this one auto install. Okay. Um, you go into auto install and you can either drag and drop or if you need to locate your um, file go to a uh, copy from Mac locate it and do your thing all right now that it's in here just hit the refresh button and make sure that it actually got copied in here I'm uh, I don't know I just hit it a couple times to make sure all right it's in there all you're gonna do now is quit iPhone box and uh, let's take it back to the iPhone where we're gonna shut it down. All right, so I'm on my device. It's important that you shut down your device and not respring it or reboot it. You need to actually shut it off after you've placed the tweak. Um, I've tried just uh, respringing and it did not do the job. My, uh, my tweak did not show up, but once I did it again and I shut down my device, then that's when the, uh, the tweak was available. So let's fast forward when this turns on. So my device is on now. Let's go into settings because this is where this tweak is actually going to be found. And it's called Cylinder. So it should be, oh, it's right there. So I got the tweak and I didn't have to use iFile. Um, let me know if it works for you, if you need any help. Uh, I, uh, I suggest checking out the full article on iOS Softmodder because it's detailed and all the links you need are provided. Um, comment, subscribe, and uh, thanks for watching. Let me know how you guys like it because it's free.